let's have a look at question two in this video. So what is the marginal product of labor in the production function if k is fixed at 27? So this is going to be a pretty mathematical question. First of all, let's fix the capital at 27, see how the function looks like. So we have q equals to 2 times k to the power of 1 over 3. And we just said that k would be fixed at 27. So that would be 27 to the power 1 over 3 times l to the power 1 over 3. Well, what is 27 to the power 1 over 3? That is the same as that is the same as 3 root of 27 multiplied with l to the power 1 over 3. 3 root of 27, what number gives us such that we multiply 3 times and we get to 27? Well, that would be 3. 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 3 is 27. So, third root of 27 is going to be 3, meaning that the production function looks the following. 2 times 3 times labor to the power 1 over 3, 2 times 3 gives us 6, so our production function depends on labor only. And we want to find out the marginal product of labor, which is going to show us, which is going to show us, let's write it over here, the marginal production of labor shows us the change in production relative to a change in labor. So in other words, when we speak about relative changes, we're speaking about derivatives. We're going to differentiate the function with respect to labor. Okay, so let's do that. Our function is equal to 6 times L to the power 1 over 3. We want to differentiate this with respect to labor. So labor is our variable. The, the rest is a constant. 6 is a constant, so we keep it like that. We're differentiating L to the power 1 over 3. Recall the power rule of derivatives. We take the power down, and then we'll have L to the power of 1 over 3 minus 1. So if we work this out, if we work this out, that's going to be equal to... 6 times 1 over 3, well, that's just going to be 2 because they cancel out. So that's 2 times L to the power of 1 over 3 minus 1. That's equal to minus 2 over 3. And that's it. That's going to be the marginal product of labor. And we are done.